Spring of 2011 has been what is probably the worst year for wildfires in the history of Texas. Uh, almost three million acres have burned off since the first of the year, and we may not be through yet. The ongoing drought, the La Nina conditions, uh, we've had the perfect storm, if you will, for a bad wildfire season. So when people ask me, they say, well, how do the quail fare in a wildfire? Uh, most of the quail are going to get away from the initial wildfire. Rarely do we see mortalities. We can, but it's not very common. But as you can appreciate, if you're a quail and you've got to have cover to protect you from your enemies, you see from the surrounding landscape here that you're in a world of hurt. In this landscape right now, if they're going to have any nest at all, they're going to be in prickly pear. Now we know that prickly pear can be an important plant for quail nesting. And again, it may be critical after these wildfires like this. So as you can see, the amount of prickly pear that's out here, uh, that will be some refuge or some uh, ability for quail to nest this year. As a landowner after a wildfire, probably the first thing you're going to do is take care of your boundary fences, uh, get your fences back in shape, and that's a really big expense. We got to think about bringing the range back. We're going to talk about things like destocking for at least one year from our grazing. Got to let this range recover. And then also, how do we keep water from just when we do get rain from taking the landscape with it? Let's look at some spreader dams for doing that. Spreader dams not only serve as quail oasis, but they help protect the integrity of the soil. So think about being able to incorporate some of these spreader dams slowing that runoff, you're going to concentrate the water, a lot of benefits to quail, you're also going to be protecting the integrity of your roads and of your soil for future generations. After the wildfires in 2006 up in the Texas Panhandle, we monitored quail population response to some really large wildfires and what we found was after about two years, if you had sandy soil, those quail populations rebounded. If you had a finer textured soil, a clay loam soil, probably less quail friendly to begin with, it had not fully recovered after three years. So how quickly that quail population responds not only depends upon our management and the rainfall, but the soil texture. If you've got deep sand sites with shin oak, you're in good shape. If you're on a heavier clay kind of soil, it's going to be a longer process. Sometimes right after a fire, it's hard to appreciate any positives associated with a wildfire. But there really are. Aside from the structural damages to the fence, any losses of livestock and grazing and so forth, and the immediate loss of wildlife habitat, fire is a natural tool for managing wildlife habitat, managing quail habitat. And so two, three years from now, this country will probably be better than it was before as a result of the fire.